Hi buddies. It's snail mail superstar. I feel like I haven't said that in a while. I'm sitting in the car in a beautiful park in Seattle and it's raining and I have a little time before I need to pick up Snail Mill Superstar Junior. And I had film a video on my list for today and <laughs> it wasn't gonna happen. So instead of just not doing it all together, I'm going to set aside all the things that I had wanted to do and just sit and chat. I have a friend here, a beautiful new plant coming home with me. It's a Stromanth Trio Star. And I'm obsessed with how hot pink the back of the leaves are and how they look like they've been individually painted. They're so beautiful. I love plants. <laughs> the last few weeks have been rough. <laughs> kind of to say the least. Hopefully the rain sound is relaxing and not overly loud. Two weeks ago now, my son got sick, which this time of year, that happens, kiddos, winter time. And he was home for a few days. And then I started to get his cold, kind of got over it. And I went to bed one night, totally normal night, totally normal day, and woke up the next morning in a ton of pain. And I know now more about what's going on, but it felt really startling to go from feeling totally fine to suddenly being in so much pain. So what happened was basically I tried to take it easy for a few days and see what happened. It just was basically had a lot of neck pain and some shoulder pain. And as the days went on, the pain got worse and I started to lose feeling in my arm and basically it started feeling like when you fall asleep on your arm and you wake up and it's like tingling and painful and my arm down my arm and into my hand and my thumb and my forefinger basically started feeling that tingling pain feeling all the time and I'm right-handed, <laughs> it's my right hand, and everything hurts. Writing, using my computer, drawing, painting, cooking, taking care of my plants, everything that I basically do in my life has been painful for a few weeks now. And I know now from going to the doctor, getting x-rays, <laughs> starting physical therapy that basically I spend so much of my time working and looking at devices like my laptop and my phone and then after work I really enjoy reading so looking down at a book looking down at my kindle or looking down to cook looking down I look down when I walk I kind of look down all the time and I think I don't know, I've had a lot of time to think about that. And some of it is because I'm always working and some of it is because I don't have good posture. And some of it is because I, I go through the world a little bit lost in thought and also a little bit quiet and fearful. And I'm, that's for therapy. We'll just think about that another day. Basically, I look down all the time and so my neck the bones in my neck have been grinding and have inflamed everything around the bones. The channel that the nerve goes through has been like closed off from all the inflammation in my, my neck and shoulder. So my body is telling my nerves that something is terribly wrong. And so the nerve is freaking out all the way from up here, down my shoulder, down the back of my arm. And then it comes around and goes basically ends in my thumb, which is why I've had so much pain in my hands. And I was really hoping it would be something that I could like go to the doctor and they could give me like a magical pill or something or like tell me what to stop doing and it would be better. But unfortunately, it's going to be a long process. And I now know things that I can do to make it better, like putting my laptop 
top up higher so I'm not like looking down at a device all day while working. I need to take a lot more breaks between tasks so I can't go from looking at my computer to looking at a drawing to looking at <laughs> like my phone to looking at a book. Like I can't keep my neck in that position all the time. It's basically been rough. <laughs> a rough wake up call that like I already knew I needed to rest more but my body has basically said you don't get to make a year-long plan at the end of which you'll rest like I have to rest now and I have to change my life now so that I can continue to have use of my body because I'm only 33 <laughs> and apparently 33 is the age at which you can hurt yourself while sleeping slash just living your life but I have a lot of life to live <laughs> from here god willing so i need to be taking better care of my body and then of course this all happened around some scheduled events that i had planned for work so i had a saturday pop up all day outside in a tent in the rain <laughs> and then one all day sunday in another city um i, I didn't want to cancel them so i went ahead and did them and and it was fine and, and I'm glad that I did them. It was it was worth doing. But I came home Sunday night from working all weekend completely sick again, which is why I sound like this. <laughs> I'm okay. And I have this afternoon I've had this afternoon to think about things. I had physical therapy mid morning, so I worked all morning and then I went to physical therapy and then I went to have lunch with my husband in the beautiful and weird and wonderful spheres <laughs> downtown and I love that place I love how like warm and humid it is in there it feels very nice this time of year and I love being surrounded by plants and just sitting and drinking a cup of coffee and I brought my traveler's journal to sketch I had swapped out the interior of one of them for the watercolor paper booklet I wanted to try that out so I am um, I've been wanting to start a little nature journal and I got a book from the library which I've not read yet about nature journaling and I'm just I don't know I'm interested in how I can more combine my love for plants and the outdoors and art and writing and all the things that I do anyways so I took my journal and spent some time writing and sketching and doing some little watercolor paintings. When I got done there and my husband needed to go back to work, I knew that I could either drive all the way home and just have an hour or two before I needed to leave to pick up my kiddo, or I could just go to see some more plants. So I went to a plant shop I hadn't been to, and that's, that's where uh, this guy came from, and then went to a beautiful conservatory that's in one of the city parks. It's a beautiful greenhouse with like a historic orchid collection and did some more drawings and paintings and just little plant doodles. And, and it's hard for me, it's hard for me to feel like I deserve days like this. Like I, I know that I am the boss. I make the rules. <laughs> I know that art is a big part of the business that I run and the job that I do. And I know that all of these kinds of things are useful. But more than that, it's like just rest is really hard for me. And just doing things that I enjoy because I enjoy them is hard for me. And I think experiencing the pain that I've been experiencing has made me recognize even more how grateful I am for the things that I love to do and I went to art school a very long time ago now but I was so racked with self-doubt when I was in art school that I hated all my sketchbooks and I hated just sitting down and making drawings for no reason like I hated it it felt so stressful and so negative and now that I'm 33 year old lady 
I actually really love that stuff. And I can sit down and look at a page of a sketchbook and see all the things I would do differently next time. But also see that I wouldn't be able to get to that next drawing or that next painting without having done this first one that I think is kind of ugly. I don't know. That's a lot. I think I just wanted to sit down and chat about some of the things that have been going on. I have some other things going on too that are have been rough on my mental health and all of this definitely affects my mental health. There's a lot of change going on right now and me being sick and being in pain has has been somewhat helpful in helping me make decisions faster than I was that I felt like I was ready to about certain things and I know it's all going to be good eventually but the last few weeks have been rough and I think that that's an okay thing some weeks are like that and instead of ha hiding out or making a ton of excuses about why I'm not making videos the reality is I'm just kind of getting through right now <laughs> I've had so many doctor's appointments and physical therapy appointments and exercises that I need to do and things that I have to handle between between times that sort of my schedule for the month my schedule for the year has gotten a little bit tweaked one of the things that I'm most proud about with this channel is not not just the snail mail stuff because that's good stuff like I love that stuff but I like that this is a place where I can be honest and give you more of a look into my life and my business in a real way. And I know how many times that I've been a little bit bold to talk about things that feel vulnerable and all the letters I've received from all of you about the hard times you've been through. You've helped me feel less alone. I hope that I've helped you feel less alone too. Sometimes it's just hard out there. <laughs> it's hard to be a person. That's the video for today. <laughs> this is all I got. <laughs> this is as good as it gets right now. I've received so much beautiful mail lately. I can't wait to sit down and open it and read it all and share it with you. I'm just trying to get my voice back to normal and trying to get my body back to normal a little bit more. But it's, it's going to be okay. I hope that you are doing well. Let me know in the comments how your February is going. Did you see all those memes about how January was a really long year? February is giving it a, a run for its money. Well, my plant and I are going to go finish up the rest of our day. Do you want to see what I sketched today? I guess that could be a way to finish this. You want to talk about vulnerability, show somebody you are imperfect <laughs> sketchbook, which this one very much is. This is what I did today. A couple different begonias. I'm a big begonia fan. I love my begonias. And it's fun to see ones that you don't usually see as houseplants. Not a lot to accomplish for a day. But some days you just gotta say, I got up, I got dressed. I didn't die. <laughs> it's good enough. All right. Until next time. I'll be moving snail speed. <laughs> Little soup is done. Um, 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 um. The channel that the nerve goes through. Um, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um, 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 and um, 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 
Um, so I'm, uh, I'm okay. <laughs> um, I, um, 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 and, um, 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 um. Just, um, um. Man. <sighs> How to end the video. <coughs> Anyways. Um, okay. <laughs>